So I am recording this for people to watch later, but that doesn't mean that you should leave, okay? It's always good to be on it live, okay? Um, okay, so here we go. We're starting the recording. Everything is good. I'm super excited. So basically what I'm going to do, you guys, is I am going to, because I feel like the biggest thing that people, um, that people kind of struggle with with sponsoring is I feel like people, you know, all of the information is there and all, like what to say is there and everything like that, but I think that people struggle with kind of like what to, you know, still what to say. You know, even though it's all there, it's still kind of just, it's a little uncomfortable. It's a little awkward, you know, offering the opportunity to people, especially when it comes to cold market prospecting. It's, it's really kind of weird and a little difficult, I think sometimes. But, um, what I have to tell you guys is that when I first started this business, I actually had 300 friends on Facebook. I started basically from scratch. I had no trust, no, you know, no rapport with anybody. I had been fired from every job that I had ever had. Um, I had quit every job I'd ever had. I hadn't kept a job, honestly, you guys in my lifetime longer than a year. And I honestly can say, I think I've worked at like, you know, I think I've worked at at least 10 banks as a bank teller. I have been a bartender and a server at every job ever. My resume was a giant lie. Okay. Um, and I don't know if anybody can relate to that, but, um, my resume was a giant lie. You guys, I had no, like no, nobody trusted me. Nobody, nobody that knew me would ever have thought in a million years that I was going to stick with this. Nobody ever would have thought like my own family was like, this is a joke. Like this, no way. There's no way she's going to stick with it. And to top it off, I was with another company before I started with Unique. So and that was kind of like, it just kind of was just this big jumble. Okay. So people didn't start joining my team for quite a while. Okay. I mean, and when I say quite a while, I mean like, you know, really, I didn't really get into my groove for like about three months with sponsoring. Okay. And so I was just like you, I started on this team with just me. And a lot of you guys don't understand that you guys think that I just came in and I had like this crazy success. It took me 18 months to get to the top of this company, 18 months of ups and downs and consistent hard work. Like this business takes time. And I think that a lot of you guys don't, I, I mean, I don't want to say that you don't understand that, but I think it's like, for me, it was hard for me to grasp onto. That was really hard for me to understand was that like, Oh my God, I have to keep doing this. Like, how am I going to stick with this? This is so hard. Like kill me now. You know what I mean? Like it's a very difficult, long process, but I'm telling you what, like it is the most worth it process you will ever go through in your life. It's a great journey. You're going to grow a lot. You're going to make a lot of friends. You're going to have a lot of fun. And so when I kept going for that three months, it was like, I had to build that momentum. I was pushing and pushing and pushing, but I couldn't gain that momentum until I started to understand and grasp a lot of these concepts that I'm about to teach you right now. And once I learned that I was going to have to work really, really hard in the beginning to get really, really big results at the end, you know, I I started to really, I started to kind of grab my bearings and I got really excited once I started to get a little bit of results. And that's when I learned how to celebrate my small wins. Okay. So I started to join in on these sponsoring runs. They were like 30 day sponsoring runs with my girl, Katie, who's like black status level one now. And, um, I didn't know her. I was afraid of her. I was like, Oh my God, a black status presenter. This is crazy. I hope she doesn't notice I'm in here. I was really scared, you know? Um, because I, I was a white status presenter. Okay. Like I was a white status presenter. You guys, I was white. I was yellow. I was pink. I was blue. I was green. I was orange, purple, and then black. You know what I mean? Like I went through the process just like you did. Okay. I know how you feel. I know what you're going through. And, um, so what I want to say to you guys is that it is a process. It's an incredible one. Okay. Um, but there's a lot to learn along the way and you've got to get excited about the learning and you've got to really learn to celebrate your small victories. Okay. What Kaya? It's all clean. Okay, cool. Good job. Um, so I was in on these sponsoring ones. You guys, when I first started this, I would be like, I'd be like, Hey girl, join my team, you know? And I would like post all these graphics that were like, Hey, join my team now, you know? And I would post all this silly stuff like that. All these, I'm looking for three people to join my team right now. I've got three spots left. Get on it. You know, like, and I would post all these graphics because that's what I saw other people doing. And so that's what I thought was the right thing to do. But what I learned along the way was that it's absolutely eh, like the worst thing that you could possibly do. Okay. Because it makes you look just desperate. It makes it look like there's nobody joining your team. It makes it just look, it looks bad. You know, it looks kind of spammy. You know, you want to present this opportunity in a way that people want to do this. And it, like in a way that gives them hope in a way that really just, you know, people have really bad days at work and they are miserable a lot in their day to day, in, you know, in their day to day life. And this is something that should look happy. It should look amazing to them. It should look like something that's going to change your life. So you have to show what it's doing for you on a daily basis. And that is how that's called attraction marketing. And 
that's quite honestly going to be the smart, the biggest and the best thing that you could possibly do every day is in some way, shape or form, think to yourself, how can I paint a picture for this to be the greatest thing since sliced bread on the internet? Like, how can I make it seem like my life is changing every day? How can I portray that on my Facebook page? You know what I mean? So I would go live every, every day, <laughs> sometimes twice a day. And I would literally, I'd be adding friends from common interest groups. You guys, I was constantly filtering people into my friends list. Okay. And, um, as I was going and filtering those people into my friends list, I had to grow gain their trust. And what I found was that actually the people joining my team were complete strangers, people that didn't know anything about me, except for the picture that I painted of myself on my Facebook page. Okay. Because it's almost like moving to a new place when you're sponsoring. Okay. What are you doing? Okay. Be careful. So it's almost like moving to a new place when you're sponsoring. Okay. I've moved to many new places. I've been always been the kind of girl that just like ups and, you know, packs up my car with whatever I can fit in it. And I would just move away um, to like a different state for no reason. You know, I was really ridiculous when I was younger. <laughs> like really, I was a very different person. And so I always kind of try to talk about it, talk about sponsoring like this. It's like, you move to a new town and nobody knows you. Nobody knows anything about you. Okay. All they know is the picture that you paint of yourself. You could literally decorate one corner. You know, when I first, when I first, you know, when I lived in New Jersey, my house was a piece of crap. You guys, it was so old and nasty. Okay. I hated it, but I had like a little corner, you know, in my house that was really decent. And so I always filmed my videos in there. I always took my pictures in that room, you know, but the rest of my house, oh no, I wouldn't even have anybody over my house. It was really bad. Okay. And so I painted a picture when I was coming up like green status and above, like I had it made. Okay. At the part, play the part, become the part. And so these new people that were joining my friends list, they were seeing all these things like, you know, Oh my God, this girl seems so happy. She has a lot of friends. She seems like she's having the time of her life. She can go out. She can do whatever she wants. She can stay home with her kids. She's got this freedom. She's gaining confidence. She's got this unique foundation where she helps, you know, people who are victims of childhood sexual abuse. You know, I'm painting this picture for people. I'm posting pictures of like, you know, name brand purses. And I'm like, Oh my God, which one should I get next? I'm not buying them. I can't afford them, but I'm painting a picture. Like I'm moving on up in the world. Okay. I'm like test driving Lexus and you know, I'm doing all this stuff because you have to, if you want to get there, you've got to go do the things that are going to make you feel like you're getting there. You know what I mean? Every book that you read about manifesting will say, go drive your dream car, go look at your dream house, go do this stuff. So as you're doing that, you've got to kind of document for the world. Okay. You've got to be posting with purpose. You've got to be, you know, not spamming people and you've got to be really just showing that this is so much fun and it's awesome. Okay. Um, so a couple little bullet points, you guys, um, is that, you know, how to change up your, and boost your algorithms on Facebook, like how to get different people seeing your stuff. What I do is I, okay, you gotta be really good though. Why don't you go upstairs and watch the love house? Okay. Cause mommy's doing a training for her team. Okay. Grandma will be here soon. Okay. Um, so what I do is you can go to the birthdays. You can wish everybody a happy birthday. Okay. You can change up your news feed to be most recent. Okay. Instead of most popular and scroll, scroll, scroll until you see new people that you haven't seen before in your news feed and comment on their stuff. You always want to be commenting on new people's things that you don't see often. If you're constantly commenting, like say I see, you know, January comments or pop up in everything that I do. Like every day I see January, in my news feed, and all I'm doing is commenting on January stuff. January is all I'm going to see. Okay. If all I'm doing is commenting on unique girl stuff, which is what I do all day because I help you guys boost your algorithms. If all I'm doing is commenting on your stuff, that's all I'm going to see in my newsfeed. Okay. And those, those are the only people that are going to see my stuff. Okay. So you have to know that it's going to take a little bit of work. You're going to have to dig a little bit deep, but you've got to go comment on people's things that don't see your stuff that you won't, don't typically see in your newsfeed. Okay. So change up your newsfeed. You can click on that little, there's like a newsfeed button. If you use your phone a lot, I'll show you really quick here. So you guys can kind of take a look at that. Um, so you're going to click the three lines down here. Okay. On your phone. And then you're going to, Oh, somebody just joined my team. <laughs> um, and then you're going to go to feeds. Okay. You're going to go to feeds, click on feeds, and then you're going to click up here and you're going to see most recent. Okay. And what you guys can do is you can actually, I don't know if you guys know this, but you can actually create custom news feeds. Okay. You can make lists of every single person that you reach out to and anyone that has said yes, or that you've reached out to about the opportunity, you can actually make a custom news feed with all those people in it only. So that way you can go there and you can comment on their stuff so that you continue to be seeing each other in your news feeds. Okay. Um, that's a really fun way to do things too. So you click on most recent and what's going to happen is people are going to start popping up in your 
in your newsfeed that you don't see very often. Like Amanda Miller, she used to be on my team years ago, or like a couple years ago. And here she is on my newsfeed. I haven't seen her talk to her in over a year and a half. Um, but here she is on my newsfeed. Okay. So if I went and I commented on her stuff, maybe I could get her interested because she's going to see my stuff every single day. I'm going to be posting happy stuff. I'm not going to be, you know, posting unintentionally. I'm not going to be wasting my, you know, my posting ability. I'm not, because your posts start to compete with each other. And that's why I always tell you guys post with purpose. Okay. So if you scroll through my newsfeed, you'll see all the things that I post are very intentional and they all have some kind of purpose. Okay. Every single thing that I post is kind of like with purpose. Okay. So I posted something about like my husband sent me flowers or whatever. And I said, we're making progress over here. That's me sharing my life with people. They're, they're, they're trusting of me. They feel like they know me. They know what's going on in my life. Okay. Um, I post things like about what this opportunity has. Okay. I post like what this opportunity has done for me um, about like me being number one for like five months. Okay. Okay. Shh. Okay. Um, so I posted that that's attraction marketing. Okay. Saying like, I have a great ability to lead you. And I know that some of you guys might not think that you have the ability to lead others right now. I was just talking to Alicia about this. You know, she's like, I don't know what I'm doing, Amanda. How can, how am I ready to be green set? So I don't even know what I'm doing. You know what you're doing. Okay. It's a, it, I didn't know what I was doing either. It's something you just have to go with the flow and you, you get there and you learn and you go in time. Okay. Um, Posting intentionally, yes, Stephanie. So when I say, like, I'm explaining right now, posting intentionally, okay? Like, I'm posting to intentionally to with a purpose. So I'm thinking to myself, every time I post, I'm thinking to myself, what can I, what can I, um, what can I um, accomplish with this post, okay? So like I said, the post about my husband, trust. I accomplished trust. I established more trust. People, I let people into my life. They know me. Um, pictures of Kaya. I posted a picture of Kaya in the car with her umbrella open. I was like, wow, this is really funny. It's going to provide people with humor. And they're going to look forward to my humorous posts every day because it's something that's kind of feel good. And just, you know, always expect people to have really bad days, you know, and they need joy in their life. And you have to be that joy in their life. Okay. And then they're going to want to be a part of something like this with you, especially as you provide them with joy. And especially as you are painting the picture that this opportunity is incredible. What do you love about this opportunity? Write down things that you love about it every single day, you know, and, and figure out a way to paint that in a, in a post, you know? Um, oh my God, you know, take a picture of yourself like this, like, you know, like you're having a great day. You and, and talk about the confidence that you've gained from this. Maybe post a picture of like you next to like a girl that you would have never on the team that you've connected with, but you never in a million years out in person would have had that connection with her. And just talk about how you love and cherish the friendships that you're gaining in this. You know, talk about you know if, if it's your birthday, talk about you know how you get twenty five dollars in Y cash. You know, um, if the foundation, the unique foundation is close to you, talk about oh my god, I'm so grateful for this unique foundation. If you have extra time, you know where you can stay home with your kids, you know, kick up your feet and post a picture and say, I love that I can literally take my little makeup business with me wherever I go. It might seem like I'm working a lot more right now, but I'm really this, this, I love this, what I'm doing so much with my makeup business. It's not even work to me. And eventually it's going to be something that changes my life. It's already changed my life every day. Posts like that. Those are attraction marketing posts. Okay. And you know, talk about, I'm so excited for all my wife sisters who earned their free trip to Punta Cana. I can't wait to be in Cancun with you all next year. You know, and post a picture of the beach, you know, stuff like that. Like whatever you can do to paint that picture that this is amazing and that it's doing big things for you. Okay. How did I, I, I mean, when I was pink status, how did I paint pictures? that this was doing amazing things for me. Like I was gaining big success. I just, I just acted like I was already successful. I already acted like I was a great leader. I was like, you know, shouting out every single person that joined my team. I would post fake welcomes. You know what I mean? Like I'll post a picture of somebody that joined my upline team. I'd be like, Hey, welcome to the team girl. I'm so excited to lead you to success. Arms locked together to the top, you know, and they enjoyed my team, but I was painting a picture that my business was booming. Every time I was on the leaderboards, I would post my, I would post a screenshot of the leaderboards. You know what I mean? Every time I had like a party booked, I'd be like, oh my God, I'm so excited that so-and-so, um, no, posting graphics is not an intentional post. Posting graphics will do nothing for you except make people run away from you like your Godzilla. Okay. Don't post graphics. It doesn't accomplish anything. People aren't going to buy the products or join your team based on what the makeup bottle looks like. You know, they're not going to be like, they're not going to see this in just a picture and they're not going to be like, Oh man, that looks great. I want to buy that. <laughs> they want to see it on your lips. Okay. They want to see you happy and smiling and they want to see you out with your Y sisters, you know, like locking arms, doing fun things, you know, just, do you guys get what I'm saying though? Um, can I get some head nods for all the people that I can see? Like, does that make sense? What I'm saying about, you know, attraction marketing and stuff like that. Cool. Okay. And then if you guys had, um, yeah, 
Yeah. Go, you know, Stephanie, Stephanie says she's never had success in anything. So should I just post what I think success looks like? Absolutely. What does success look like for you, Stephanie? Like what, what would success look like for you? You've got to know that vision. If you haven't ever had success before, you've got to know, you've got to know what you're looking for and what, when you hit black status, Stephanie, okay, pick it up. When you have lack status, what is that going to look like for you? You've got to know that in your mind. Because if you don't have a vision for what your success looks like, what are you working towards? You don't even know what you're working towards. And eventually it's going to be easy for you to just let it go. Like you did just recently let it go. You know what I mean? So you have to know what your success looks like in order to paint that picture and in order for you to be running towards something. Okay? Hey, come on. Go out there. Um, okay. Next thing. You can go uh, wish people happy birthday. Okay? So I just went through and I talked about, you know, switching up your news feed and stuff like that. I just talked about attraction marketing. You guys, I used to do my why video like every other day. I would talk about why this opportunity means the most to me. I would talk about, you know, I would make videos. I would do my makeup during the day. And then at nighttime, I would do like a video talking about why I love this business so much. Or I would talk about, you know, something that I learned in a book to make myself seem influential. Okay. I would honestly just go on live and I would share, you know, my, my influence with the world. Something that I just read in a great book. I would be like, you know what? I just really think that this applies to everybody's life. So I wanted to share it with you guys. And I would make it seem like I'm growing a lot. I'm doing amazing things with my business and I wouldn't be here without the growth that I'm doing. And so, yeah, was I scared to go on there? Was I scared of what people were going to think when I like went on, I just randomly started talking about a book that I read. Oh my God. Yeah. I was so scared, but somehow some way it became something incredible for me and people began to look forward to what I was learning, you know, because it applied to their life. How can you apply the things that are happening and the growth that you're having to other people's lives? Like how can other people connect with that? Okay. And if you need more help with that, go um, into Lash Out Loud and watch and, and type in the search bar human connection. I made a really great video about that. But the human connection is so important because it grows and establishes trust um, with you. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Do you think that's a good, I think that's a great thing, Lindsay, because people are going to look at you and they're going to be like, gosh, darn, like Lindsay is really growing and changing in this. I can't believe it. she seems so happy. She seems so confident. She seems like she's getting so smart and she, this is crazy, you know, and they're going to, that, those things are going to attract people to you. Okay. People are attracted to energy and they're attracted to people who are going places in life. Okay. And so you want to be that person, even if you don't feel like it, but when you act the part, you play the part, you will become that person. You will become who you want to be. You will become a black status presenter. If you act like a black status presenter, you walk, talk, carry yourself like when you will become that person. Okay. Um, so let's see, you guys have to be, so act the part, play the part, become the part. Um, always assume you guys, when you're reaching out that people are going to say yes, and you have to have that sponsoring mindset. So get into the habit of telling yourself every single day, I'm a sponsoring superstar. Everybody wants to join my team. I would have sticky notes. So <laughs> this is really cute actually. So I would used to, I would used to tell myself every single day, I would be like, um, uh, yeah, I'll talk about that, Dolores. Um, I'm just going to, I think I'm going to reach out to like five people. I don't really want to be on here forever. I think I'm going to reach out to like five people. I think five people will be enough. Um, so I used to tell myself, I, I have mantras that I tell myself all day long in the shower. I know you guys hear me talk about this a lot, but I promise you it works, okay? Um, no. No. You can have a, a group for your customers if you want to. Um, we're not really talking about that, though, right now, okay? So let's keep that on a different one. Um, that's awesome, Karen. That is awesome. Yes. That's a great thing to share. Small wins. Um, you can run your business however you want to Lisa. You can have a group if you want to. Absolutely. Um, but you know, it's better to do your business on your personal Facebook page. hundred percent. I never had luck with my group page. It held me back. I would have had success so much sooner if I would have got out of my group page. I was so afraid to get out of my group page, but I got out of my group page. My business exploded. Okay. You gotta be quiet, baby. Okay. Um, so I, my mantras when I was cutting up, I, I am the leader that leaders want to be led by. Okay. I told myself that every single day, all day long. Okay. And I would tell myself, my team is exploding. My business is exploding. I'm gaining so much success. I can barely keep up. And what are some things that you need to tell yourself every single day that you can get into the right mindset? Because thoughts become things you guys, sorry, what you think about comes about and what you focus on expands. Okay. So what you, what you focus on, you get more of Hi, please don't crawl around like a puppy outside. Okay. We'll take the puppy and crawl around outside, okay? Please. You're really cute, but you gotta go do that. 
Um, so, but it's true though. And you know, it's, for some of you guys, I know that it's really hard for you to believe that. Like you might be looking at me like, gosh, this girl is on crack right now. Like what is she talking about? Like my thoughts are nothing. They're just thoughts. Like thoughts do not become things, you weirdo, you know, but here's the thing, you guys, every book that you read from a successful person, like you will, they will say the same thing that what you focus on, you get more of. It can't be BS. If all of these successful people, I mean, what do, what do all these successful people have in common? They all say the same thing. They all say the same thing and it works. Okay. And I'm going to give you a really quick example. Okay. Stephanie or no, Taryn, everyone deserves this opportunity and it's not up to me to decide for them. I have to reach out to everyone. A freaking men sister. Hallelujah. Okay. It is not up to you to determine whether or not they deserve for them for to be offered the opportunity or not. Okay. They deserve for you to reach out to them and offer them the opportunity. Um, so I now, my mantra is my leaders are the leaders that leader that other leaders want to be led by. Okay. My leaders are the leaders that leaders want to be led by. Okay. Because I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I've got plenty of leaders on my team. I've got a lot of you guys coming up as leaders. Now it's time for you guys to become leaders. Okay. It's time for my team to become leaders. So my leaders are now the leaders that other leaders want to be led by. Okay. So come up with your mantras, you guys. Okay. Like when I was going purple status really quick before I move on, um, when I was going black status. Okay. Example. I had three elites. Okay. That I knew were definitely going to hit. And I had one girl. Okay. Kaya, please stop. I had one girl who was never around in her business. She quit all the time. She came back. She quit. She came back. She came, she, you know, whatever, whatever she wanted to do. Life was on her terms. Nobody else mattered. Okay. And she came back. Okay. I kept telling myself every single day from the beginning of the month on the, on November 1st, I set my intention. I will be black status by the end of this month. This is my damn month. Okay. November 1st, this is my month. Okay. Um, there was a time where I had zero viewers on my lives. I didn't, I didn't gain the following. You have to stop. You have to stop. You're going to be okay though. Okay. Um, there was, you guys, listen, I didn't gain my following until after I went black status. You don't need a following to go black status. I did parties. That's how I got black status. Um, okay. My mantra when I was going black status, like I, like I told you guys in my live today, um, I set my intention for going black status and I said, this is my month. I'm going to do it. I'm going black status. Okay. And I said to myself, my mantra for black status was I will have four frontline elites by the end of this month. And we will finish this month as a black status team. It rolls off of my tongue. Like it's nobody's business because that was my mantra. And I knew I pictured it. I pictured black status in my mind. I pictured my chart populating. I felt the goosebumps before they even occurred. Okay. Like I knew that I was going black status. I knew it was going to happen. I didn't, I didn't know how it was going to happen, but I knew it was going to happen. Okay. And so, like I said, I had two girls for sure that were hitting and I literally didn't even quote Kaya enough. Um, I literally didn't have you guys, anyone that was on track. I was $20,000 off from hitting black status. $20,000 off. Okay. And this is where your sponsoring mindset comes in. You've got to tell yourself that you are a sponsoring rock star. You are a sponsoring machine and you will become one. Okay. But you've got to see it. You've got to see those emails coming in. So let me tell you something. The last two weeks of the month, I was like, Oh my God, I don't, I'm just going to keep telling myself it's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to happen. Nothing is falling into place. We're behind. I don't know. I'm just going to keep telling myself it's going to happen. Ask, believe, receive. Woo! Yes, girl. Um, every single day. And then finally the mountains began to move. You guys like the world began to freaking shift. And this girl that was so flaky about her business still to this day, she is flaky about her business. She doesn't talk to her team. She doesn't post anything unless she feels like it. She sells her $500 to, to hit green status every single month. Okay. Here's what happened. She messaged me randomly. I hadn't talked to her in three months. Okay. Because I convinced myself I was going black status and she messaged me and she said, Amanda, you're not going to believe this. She said, I keep getting all these random orders on my website. I don't even know who these people are. And when I messaged them, they say that they just typed in my name and I popped up. So they ordered from me. Who does that happen to? You know, but that just goes to show you that it works. Okay. You guys ask, believe, receive. Okay. She went green status for the very first time that month. And we were a black status team. Okay. Everything that I had pictured happened. Everything that I have pictured can happen. Okay. So you have to get into that mindset, you guys. Okay. Um, so let's see. Okay, Kaya. Okay, Kaya. Um, 
Okay, let's get into some messages. I think that's good. Everything else I can explain in a minute. Okay, so what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to offer people the opportunity right now, and I'm going to explain to you why I say, um, why I say the things that I say, and I'm going to tell you guys why it's important to say it that way, and you're going to notice my facial expressions. You're going to notice the look on my face while I'm doing it, um, and I'll do one that's, like, wrong as well so that you guys can kind of see. Um, so that you guys can kind of see like how it goes, okay? Because <laughs> you can be like, hey girl, I think you'd be great at doing what I do. I have a video, it goes over the opportunity. If I send it to you, would you check it out? Okay, cool, it worked. I'm just gonna move on now. You know what I mean? You gotta have energy and you gotta bring like life to the table, right? Okay, so um, here we go. I have some windows open of girls that I'm gonna reach out to. I've never spoken to these girls a day in my life. I'm actually, and here's the deal. This is what I was thinking to myself. I was like, how can I explain this? Like, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually tell you, I'm going to share with you guys the feelings that I'm feeling. Okay. So that you guys know that you're not alone in feeling scared and nervous to message people. I've never messaged any of these people before. This is all going to be hundred percent cold messaging. I'm going to message one girl that I have talked to about the opportunity before. And then I'm going to message one girl who I've already sent my video to. So that you guys can see how I follow up with people. Okay. Um, so this girl here, her name is Cheyenne. I've never spoken to her a day in my life. I'm very nervous to reach out to her because I've never spoken to her and she's very beautiful and she's kind of intimidating. Okay. And so I'm kind of feeling like what happens if she says no, what happens if she ignores me? Maybe she's going to block me. Right. I mean, you guys feel that way too sometimes, don't you? So I'm, I'm a little nervous right now, but I'm going to do it anyways because I know, and this is how I felt way back in the day too, because I would literally message 10 to 20 strangers every single day, offer them the opportunity, whether or not they said yes or, or not. I didn't even care. I was like, you know what? I got to message these people. Okay. Because if I don't, somebody else is going to. And I'm the kind of person, I, I, I get very, um, very much gratification from actually, you know, finishing my tasks. Okay. Like if I don't finish my tasks for the day, like I feel like I failed myself and I don't like to fail myself. So when I was doing, I started a 30 day run and I never stopped doing a 30 day run. I messaged 10 to 20 people every single day about the opportunity. And that is how I've sponsored 630 people. Okay. Personally, I've sponsored 630 people, you guys. Okay. Um, so let's message Cheyenne here. I'm going to show you guys what's up here. Let's see. Cheyenne, let me find her on my phone. I have literally a computer and I have my phone and I have my iMac. This is really interesting. What are you doing? Just rolling around on the floor there. Hey, what do you have? Where'd you get those boxes from? Okay. Cheyenne. Let's see if I can find her in here. Oh, my start. Okay. Okay, so since I can't find her, I'm just gonna send her a smiley face here on my, it's gonna be awkward. I'm just gonna send her a smiley face. <laughs> okay, here she is. Okay, so I just sent her a smiley face. No messages ever before, super awkward and creepy, okay. Oh my gosh, girl, this is so weird for me. <laughs> Don't judge me. Okay, listen, this is so weird and it's gonna sound so crazy, but I keep seeing you pop up in my newsfeed and I'm honestly just going to take it as, as a sign at this point because I just keep seeing you. Like I literally can't shake you off my leg. It's driving me crazy. And so I had to message you, even though I'm terrified right now, I had to message you. Okay. Because you're so gorgeous and you just, that smile of yours, like it's just so bright and beautiful and I absolutely love it, girl. Like, ugh, I can't even deal. I can't deal, girl. So I keep seeing you and I was like, you know, I'm just going to message her. I think Cheyenne that you'd be so good doing what I do with you. There it goes. I said it. I think you'd be awesome. I really do. I think you'd be so good at this. I think you'd have so much fun. I think that your smile could really make a huge impact on so many people doing this. And I think that we'd have a lot of fun doing this together. I have this little video. It's about five minutes long. If I send it over to you, would you take a peek at it and just kind of like, you know, tell me how you feel about it. Tell me what you think. And maybe we can go from there. Okay. That was really like candid and weird, but, but I was, I was really, you know, I was really like, just, I'm just being real, you know, I'm just being real with her. I'm just letting her know I'm super nervous right now. I'm letting her know, like, this is going to sound super crazy. Don't judge me, but you keep popping up in my newsfeed and I'm just going to take it as a sign at this point because I can't shake you, girl. Like you won't go away. And I just feel like that's a sign, you know? And so, you know, I just let her know, like, I think you have this beautiful smile. I really think that that smile and just what, your whole vibe can really make a great, huge impact on the world using this opportunity. And I think that have a lot of fun together and I think that that we make a great team doing this I have a short video that goes over the opportunity if I send it over to you would you check it out now the biggest thing 
Jacqueline, I feel weird too. Okay. But you have to let go of that. Like you have to let go of that feeling. You've got to let stop telling yourself how weird and crazy you feel. Okay. Because it's going to portray in the message. So I had a smile on my face. I shook my nurse. Kaya, you better not be opening my makeup kiddo. No. Where is it? Don't touch it. Okay, baby. No, no. Don't touch mommy's stuff. Um, so you're going to be nervous. Okay. If you're not nervous, listen, you need to go get checked out. Okay. You need to go be on some drugs or something. I'm just kidding. Like it, you should be nervous. It's normal. Okay. You're not some like stone cold killer who doesn't get nervous for anything. You're going to be super nervous. Okay. Um, but do you guys get what I'm saying? Like if I would you is like the most important thing that you can do. Okay. If I scratch your back, will you scratch mine? Okay. Um, Chelsea, you always get mean people. Guess what sister? That's why, because you think you always get mean people. What you focus on, you get more of. Okay. You're probably like, Oh my God, this person, I hope this person's not mean. I hope this person's not mean. Okay. You're probably thinking that as you message them. So guess what? You're going to get a mean person. Okay. So change your mindset. You literally have to rewire your mind. You've got to be committed to rewiring your mind. Okay. You can't just be like, screw this. I'm out. You know what I mean? And be like, I'm so tired of all the mean people. I can't deal with it anymore. You've got to just change your mindset. You guys, you've got to change your mindset. Okay. I feel like this is a gift and that I portray that in my messages. This is a gift. And everybody wants to do this with me because it's a gift and it's changed my life. So why wouldn't anyone want to do this with me? Right? Okay. That's the mindset that you have to go into sponsoring messages with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down in my notebook here. Okay. I'm going to write down Cheyenne's name so that I know that I reached out to her and I offered her the opportunity. And right now there's no answer, but when she does message me back, I'm going to write down what her response was. Okay. Right here. And I'm going to say if she, you know, if I sent her my video, I'm going to write sent. Okay. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to follow up with her. And so if Cheyenne messaged me back and she, and she says, yeah, go ahead and send it my way. Oh my God. That was the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. I'm going to be like, okay, girl. Oh my God. Thank God you responded and you, I didn't die. That's crazy. You know, like I'm going to be funny and cute with her. Hi, what do you have? You don't know. Okay. Just don't, don't do that. Okay. Um, don't open my makeup like that. Okay. Um, so she's going to message me back and she's going to be like, Oh my God, that was so nice. Thank you so much for saying that to me. Um, when they send me a thumbs up, I'm going to assume that that means yes, they want to see my video. Yep. Uh huh. Okay, cool. Sounds good. I'm going to send it over. <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, if they say no, when, when should you send a beauty bash, bash message? Okay. So if somebody says no to me, let's go over all these. Let's go over everything that we could do. So if she says yes, send me the video. I'm going to be like, okay, awesome girl. Oh my God. I'm so glad that you didn't just totally give me the third degree. This is great. This is, we're going, this is good. We're going in a good direction. You know, I'm going to be cute about it. Right. And if you can't, if you can't be like that yet, channel your inner Amanda. Okay. And just faith it till you make it. Okay. Or just be the best version of that that you possibly can be. Okay. Don't stress about, you know, your personality or the fact that you don't think that you could portray that bubbliness. You can, you eventually will. I didn't always used to be this way. Okay. Um, so I'm going to say that to her. I'm going to be like, okay, I'm going to send you over my video. Like I said, it's like five minutes long. When do you think you'll have a chance to take a peek at it? And I'm going to send her the video over. Okay. Whether she responds, sometimes they'll say, Oh, I'll watch it right now. Sometimes they'll be like, Oh, I'll watch it after work. Sometimes they won't respond at all. Either way, I'm going to write down that I sent her the video, but I want to get that time commitment from her. Now, if she doesn't give me a time, I hope you guys are taking notes. If she doesn't give me that time commitment, um, then that's okay. I'm just going to go back and I'm going to follow up with her like, you know, in a few hours or maybe tomorrow. Okay. And I'm just gonna be like, I'm just gonna be like, Hey Cheyenne, how's it going girl? I know we talked a little bit yesterday. No pressure. I know life gets busy. I just wanted to check in and see if you had a chance to watch that video I sent over. No pressure. If you didn't, I get it. Life is crazy. You know what I mean? And so, um, I'm going to take it from there. Now, if she says, yeah, I watched it. I'm going to be like, Oh my God. Awesome. How much did you love it? Like, did you, what did you love about it? Don't ever say, what did you think? Okay. You always want to be like, awesome. What did you love about that? Like what, what, what really popped out to you? You know, and she'd be like, Oh my God, I don't everything. Like it just seems like such a great thing. It seems like a great opportunity. It seems fun. You know, and I've watched you doing this for a long time. And I think that I would have a lot of fun with it, you know? And I'm going to be like, girl, yes. Like it has changed my life. And I meant everything that I said to you. Like, I think that this could be something so awesome for you, you know? And then I'm going to be like, it sounds like you're really excited. This is the handshake. My hand is out. I'm ready to shake her hand and steal the deal. Okay. So I'm going to be like, it sounds to me, Cheyenne, like you're ready to get started. You sound so excited. I've never heard anyone be so excited about this in my life. This is awesome. When do you think that you want to get started? 
when do you think you want to get started? You know, and she's going to, we're going to go from there. We're going to take it from there. Okay. Does that, does that make sense? That sounds good to everybody. Okay. So Stephanie says, why do, why don't you say, what do you think? Because then you're forcing people to, to think their wheels are turning. You don't want people to think you want them to just say yes. <laughs> you want them to just say yes. Okay. Um, so what if they say no? What if they say no? Okay. If they say no, totally cool. It's not, no worries, girl. It's not for everyone. I totally get it. Like it's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's totally fine. Um, here's the thing though, and this might sound weird too. It's okay if you say no, but I offer these makeup classes. Maybe like you just haven't tried the makeup. You don't trust me yet. I do these makeup classes. They're really fun. It's just a little group with you and your girlfriends. And it's a great way for you to earn free makeup. And also a great way for me to, um, for me to grow my network. Kaya, be nice. Don't, don't do that. Kaya, give me that box. Give me that box. Don't crush it. Don't crush it. Don't crush it. Hey, stop. Give me that box. Give it to me. Thank you. What is all over your face? Is that lipstick? Bring me the lipstick that's on your face. Um, so you, you say to her, um, you say to her, you know, I, I do these makeup classes. They're so much fun. It's a great way for you to earn free makeup. Um, and you know, if your friend, and it's a great way to plant seeds too, for your girlfriends, you know, get them excited about the makeup and worst comes to worst, at least you got some free makeup. And then maybe at the end you decide you want to do it. No pressure either way though. I have an opening tomorrow. Um, do you want to get on my schedule? They say yes. Cool. If they say no, move on to the next person. You know what I mean? Um, do it. I'm starting to kick your butt. Do not touch any more of my makeup. Okay. This is all makeup that I has never even been opened before. Don't touch it, okay? Um, okay, so let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm in, and then they ask what they need to do, and then they don't join, and they stop responding. You just keep doing your thing, okay? So if they, if they say, yes, I'm in, and then they don't ever respond back to you, you just, you keep doing your thing, and you don't even think anything of it, okay? You just keep going, you guys, okay? Because they go into watch mode, is what I call, okay? And you have to keep painting that picture every single day that, that this is the most amazing thing ever. Keep commenting on their stuff, be their friend, let them know you're not going to stalk them and try to, like, take their firstborn child, you know what I mean? And then the video, Noel, is watch.cosmeticsbyamanda.com. I just updated my video, you guys, but my biggest advice to you is to make your own, eventually, to make your own. You definitely want to make your own. It's awkward. Kaya, no more. No more. Um, you definitely want to make your own now. That was a big turning point for me was when I made my own because I used Brandy Phillips for a long time. And then eventually I was like, I'm not Brandy Phillips. What the hell? You know, it was weird. Um, so, you know, you, you start to understand that people want to see you and they want to hear your voice and they want to hear your accomplishments. Make yourself seem super badass in these videos, okay? Be like, and I am a freak and yellow status presenter. You know, like get super into it. Um, okay, next girl. This girl is super pretty. Um, I don't know if she's going to join. She's, she's super young, but you know what? I don't even care. Let's do it. Okay, so what am I feeling right now? I'm really intimidated. She's super pretty. She's really young, so I feel like she might flip out on me if I offer it to her and she might say some really nasty things, but that's okay. I don't even care because I got a great gift and she's super young and she could really change her life with this. So Mackenzie, M-A-K-E-N-Z-I-E. Oh, there she is. Cool. I don't have to send her an awkward smiley face. Hey, turn that back on. Stop. Hey, grandma's not going to come over if you don't stop. Okay. Go upstairs and watch Loud House for me. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm talking a lot. I did not want this to be an hour long video, but that's okay. We're learning, right? We're learning and growing. Okay. Um, here we go. Woo! Just kidding. Let's just, no, let's not do that. Let's not scream like that. That was weird. Let's not do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. Can you imagine? She's like, Oh my God, this girl's weird. Okay. Hey girl. Okay. Oh my God. I keep seeing your beautiful red hair in my new feed. Don't think I'm super weird or anything right now, but you're so beautiful and I can't even deal with this anymore. Okay. <laughs> um, this is going to sound crazy. Okay. But you're so gorgeous Mackenzie. And I literally keep seeing you in my news feed. I'm like, make this girl go away so that I stop seeing how pretty she is. Like I can't stand it anymore. So here's the deal. Okay. And this is where it's going to sound really weird. I think you're so gorgeous. Okay. And I have my business. I'm, I don't know if you've seen me and what I post and everything. I've been doing it for a long time, but I think you'd be great at it. Mackenzie, you're so beautiful. You seem really fun. And I think that you'd be awesome at this. And 
I don't know. I just had to get it out there. I feel like it's been like just weighing heavy on my shoulders and there it is. <laughs> so I have this video. It's about five minutes long. If I send it over to you, would you be willing to just take a peek at it? I mean, even if you're like, you screw this girl, I don't even care. I don't, it's fine. I just, I had to say it. So if I send you over that video, would you want to take a peek at it and just humor me? <laughs> okay. 59 seconds. I'm getting really good. <laughs> So you guys kind of, you see what I'm doing here? Like I'm just really, I'm super calm, really just casual about it. There is no way, but the old, there is no right or wrong way. It's really just, listen girl, I'm really nervous right now. I can't shake you. This is a sign. I had to message you just to get it off of my chest. Okay. You're so beautiful. I think you'd be great at this. I have a video. It goes over the opportunity. It's five minutes long. If I send it to you, would you be willing to take a peek? You can kind of humor me if, if anything at all, you know, be cool. B, yes, I always start with compliments every single time because you're, it's like, picture a wall, okay? Picture a wall up between you and them, okay? And every single thing that you say that's nice to them is that wall is coming on down, baby, okay? It's coming on down, all right? And so you want to get that wall to come down and the giggles, the compliments, you know, the, the whole, like, no, don't expect, I don't expect anything of this, you know, like, no worries if it's not for you. That's bringing that wall down, you know? And then you're like, I have this little video. It's about five minutes long. If I send it over to you, oh, my God, my dog. Now the dog is just ripping up the box on the ground. <laughs> um, and you just say, I have this short little video. It's about five minutes long. If I send it over to you, would you just even like at least just humor me and take a peek at it? I would love to hear your opinion, you know? Um, and eventually you're going to get to the point where if you message them, they're going to be like, holy hell, I can't believe this girl just offered me this once in a lifetime opportunity, you know? Um, <laughs> I'm going to, um, I'm going to, um, I would follow up with her exactly how I would follow up with, um, I'm about to commit my love for them. That's the whole point. That's what you want. Like, I want them to feel like we're girlfriends and we've been girlfriends forever. Um, okay. So let me just really quick, I want to get this over with you guys because I really, um, do you, I mean, do you guys kind of feel it? Are you okay with that amount of messages that you think two is okay? You kind of get, you get the gist of it. Are we all good? Let me see. I'm going to turn it to gallery view so I can see you guys all shaking your head <laughs> and say, shake your head. No, if you want me to do more, if you're not, okay. <laughs> So give me a yes if you're good or a thumbs up or something. And then if you're not, just be like, oh, help me, Jesus. <laughs> good. Okay. And you guys can always come back and watch it. But there's so many, like, there's so many, if, if they're not beautiful, you know, you don't always have to use you're beautiful. You can use, like, girlfriend, like, I keep seeing your cute puppy in my news feed. Like, he's so adorable. It's making me melt. And so I'm kind of a stalker of the puppies. And I went to your profile, and oh, my God, you are so gorgeous. You know, like, what, like, why are you reaching out to them? Give them that reason why, okay? And it's not just like, hey, girl, I have this business. I think you'd be great at it. You're so pretty. I have a business overview. It's five minutes long. Would you watch it? You know, you want it to be like, hey, girlfriend, we're officially about to be like best friends right now. And so, you know, just, just be yourself. Don't be so, you know, like, don't be so scared and don't sound like you're reading a script. Like you don't want to write something down and read it over to them because they're going to know that you're reading a script. They're going to be like, this girl is sending me a copy and pasted thing. Don't text message them either. Don't send them a text. You guys, come on. We got to get comfortable with voice messages. We got to be the people that are different than everyone else. Okay. I get, um, copy and pasted. Um, do you still do the one that you already offered the opportunity to? Um, so like, you mean, if I've already offered the opportunity to them, do I offer that again? Um, and then Brittany for my video. Um, yeah, so I, there's this girl, Brandy Phillips. I actually copied, I wrote down, <laughs> took me like 24 hours straight. I'm seriously like, Listening to her video, pausing it, writing down what she said. Listening to her video, pausing it, writing down everything that she said. I literally wanted to throw my computer. Same with my party videos, you guys. <laughs> like, with my party videos, I would be like, F this, oh my God, like, I'm so mad right now. Like, I couldn't get my party videos right for the longest time, and I would get so frustrated because, like, my kid would come in, like, pooping on me or something, you know, and I would get so mad, and I would start cussing, and then finally I would get, like, the perfect take, and I'd be like, okay, that's it, that's it, I'm done, I'm out of here, like, I'm good, let's do it, you know? Um, same thing when I was doing my opportunity video, I would, I would, I would do the voiceover in iMovie, which is so easy, you guys, it's on my YouTube channel. Um, but I would do my voiceover in iMovie and I, and I would say it wrong. And I'd be like, I'd be like, gosh, darn it. You know, I'd get like so mad because it's frustrating, you know, like it's, it's, it's very aggravating when you try to do something and you're working so hard at it, but 
I promise you, once you get it, it's so, it's so worth all the anger that you experience. Like it's so worth it because the success starts coming and then you get to where I am and you're like, hallelujah, it was all worth it. Oh my God. You know, and you start making all this money and you're like so happy and you know, you just feel all this joy every single day you wake up and you're like, I don't have to do a damn thing. I don't have to do anything. Like this is my life. I have freedom. I can go wherever I want. I'm going on vacation. I can work from there. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? So it's worth that temporary pissed offness and you know, that crazy busyness where you're like, oh my God, I don't have to any time for this. It's so worth it. It's worth it to be scared. You know what I mean? It, it, it's worth it to, to go through all these motions and to watch the training and to get great at this. It's so worth it. But so many people stop. They just give up. They're like, screw this. I can't do it. Like I, I can't get it right. Nobody's joining me. It's been two weeks and nobody's, you know, like nobody ordered for me. It's been two weeks. I quit. Listen, you guys, come on. I mean, People aren't going to join you every day. They're not going to buy from you every day. It's a process and it's a fun one. So you got to learn how, how to have fun with this. How can I, how can I have fun with this every day? That's like the key thing that you can do. Okay. Um, can you give, yeah, of course I can give an example of that. Yes. Karen will never quit. <laughs> Good. Um, okay. So how to follow up. So I posted my thing yesterday and by the way, you guys, I don't know if you watched my video, uh, that I did last night on my wall. Um, about the lip products and all those hacks and stuff. I sold $600 from that video. Like it was crazy. People were going nuts over the hottie. Like they love to see because I made it really apparent that like my lips were getting huge, you know, and it was awesome. And so I don't know, it was crazy. Like people just started going nuts over the lip products. So if you're educating people on your videos, you know, especially if you're educating people in your party videos, you're educating them on how to get their makeup to look amazing. They're going to start buying from you, you know, because they like to be educated and then they feel like they can only achieve that look that you educated them on with your makeup. You know what I mean? Um, so, okay. Following up. So I sent, um, and, and another thing really quick too is, um, using the start plan thing. Okay. So this involves the follow-up. Um, I don't know if you guys know what the start plan is. Does anybody know what that is the, on your messenger where you can start a plan with people where you get notified? Um, I'm going to show you really quick. Um, I eat Taco Bell. Please don't ever eat Taco Bell. Save yourself. Okay. Um, so let's go to Cheyenne's. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to myself. Okay. So I'm going to go to my own messenger thing here. Okay. So, uh, you get, you're going to go here. And so, oh, that's me and John Maxwell and Dave Ramsey. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> so you're going to go here. You're going to, oh wait, is that there? No, that's not right. Shoot. Where is it? Start, oh, there we go. Okay. So you're going to click the name. So, I'll, okay, sorry. I'm like so all over the place. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, what you're going to do, you guys, with the follow-up is you're going to message the person. Like I sent out a bunch of videos yesterday because I posted this thing and I said, if you're interested, you know, like I'm going to post something tonight that says, I just redid my opportunity video. It's really awesome. I would love everybody's opinion. If you've ever thought about this, go ahead and comment with a below with an emoji and I'll send you my video. You can take a peek, no pressure whatsoever. I just really want to get into as many hands as possible. And so I'm going to send my video to all those people and I'm going to be like, Hey girl, I saw your comment on my post about my video. I'm going to send it over to you. It's about five minutes long. When do you think you'll be able to watch it? Okay. I'm going to send them my video. And then, um, when they let me know they're going to watch it, I'm going to be like, Hey girl, I'm going to be like, okay, I'm going to be all like, Hey girlfriend, I just wanted to check back in. Did you have a chance to take a peek at my video that I sent over? And they're going to be like, um, you know, they're going to be like, yeah, you know, whatever. And I'll be like, okay, great. So she'll be like, okay, I'm super excited. I'm going to join when my husband gets paid on Wednesday. Somebody said that to me yesterday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be like, awesome. That's so exciting. I cannot wait to have you on my team, girl. I think we're going to kick some serious butt. Okay. I'm going to, Karen, I sucked at makeup for the longest time. Okay. <laughs> You'll get good at it. Own it, girl. Okay. People are going to buy from you because you're not perfect. Just to let you know. Um, so then she says, okay, Wednesday. And I'm like, okay, awesome. And I say, I'm going to start this little plan in here to remind myself um, that Wednesday's the day. And so you'll get a notification and I'll get a notification. Okay. So what does that do? What that's going to do is that's actually going to let her know, oh shit, she's going to follow up with me. So I better be ready on Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm sorry, I just said the S word. I'm sorry. It just came out. Um, you're going to go up and you're going to click the name up here. Okay. I don't know. I can't really... Okay. And then there's this little button here. You see it where it says start plan. Okay. So you're going to click that start plan button and then it gives you options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that plan for Wednesday at noon. Okay. So then I'm going to say Wednesday, October 25th, which is my birthday. Ooh, ooh. Um, I'm going to set that plan and then I'm going to click save. 
Oh, and then I'm gonna go back to the message and look at that. There's a reminder, it says really big for both of us to see Wednesday, October 25th at noon. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click, there's a little thing here that says name plan. Okay, so I'm gonna click on that and I'm just gonna type join. Okay, and so then it's gonna say join there at the bottom. So she knows she better be ready on Wednesday at noon because I'm gonna follow up with her, okay? And so then at Wednesday, on Wednesday at noon, I'm gonna be like, hey girlfriend, I'm so excited, it's today the day. If she responds, that's on her. If not, totally cool. But in the meantime, from now until Wednesday, I've got her name on my list, okay? I've got her name on my list and I am going to comment on her stuff, even if you wanna put her on that on one of your newsfeed things, you know, prospects or whatever, or you can put her on, you know, make a newsfeed list that's called, yes, girl, birthday. Um, or you can make a list, like a newsfeed list. Look it up on YouTube, how to make friends lists on Facebook. And you can have like a yes list of people that have said yes. And you can go through and you can comment on their stuff. Take five minutes every day and just go comment on those people's, you know, posts and pictures in your newsfeed so that they keep seeing your attraction marketing and how much fun you're having. And they're over there freaking going to work at, you know, McDonald's or wherever they work every day and they're pissed off at the world, you know, because they're not doing what you're doing. They're not having fun every day like you're having. You know what I mean? So that's my, that's what I really want you guys to focus on is how can I paint the picture that, my life is amazing, but I'm having so much fun. How can I get people to want in on this and, and want to do this with me because I'm having the time of my life, you know? you got to think about that, okay? And there are a lot of posts in, um, I don't know if you guys are in this group or not, but it's called the um, MM Post Ideas group, okay? That group is for you guys to copy the wording and make your own picture and post, okay? Be careful with the things about the kit, though, where it kind of seems like advertising the kit. Facebook doesn't like that. No, actually prohibit you from posting things like that. So just be careful, okay? And when you're first starting out, you don't want to really post those kinds of things anyways. You really want to stick to attraction marketing and maybe like a kit post every like couple of days maybe, okay? <coughs> okay, so um, make sure that you guys are following up, okay? Make sure that you guys are following up every single time that you message someone. Tell someone that you're going to message them and follow up with them. You have to follow through. Like you have to follow through. <gasps> Otherwise you lose. Oh my God, Carissa, I hope you're not dying. <laughs> um, otherwise, um, you, let me see. Otherwise you, you lose credibility. And there's this book called Everyone Communicates, Few People Connect by John C. Maxwell. And I'm reading that book right now. And it says, it talks a lot about credibility. And once you gain credibility, you cannot lose that credibility. You know, like when I take forever to send out my giveaway prizes, because I do so damn many, I lose credibility. Okay. And I'm working on it, but it's crazy. You know what I mean? But I have to, if I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to send you something for working hard, you know, like I have to get on the ball. Like I've got to actually do it or else I'm going to lose my credibility. And then I'm going to lose your faith in me as a leader. Leader. Well, I mean, that doesn't have anything to do with my leadership, but I should really be on the ball with that. You know what I mean? Um, uh, Stephanie, in, uh, in, she says, can I have a daily task list? Yes. In Lash Out Loud, um, that's okay, Dolores. My sponsor didn't teach me anything either. That's okay. It's okay. And it's, and, it, and it's no one's, it, it, you can't blame anything on anyone. You know what I mean? Like, it's okay. I, I'm glad that I had to learn everything on my own because I learned a lot of great stuff and, um, I am a great leader now because of it. I love my sponsor. I'm meeting up with her in Punta Cana. I think she's amazing. I just didn't, you know, I didn't learn anything from her. And that's okay. That's totally okay. She doesn't change who she is as a person. I love her. She's great. But I learned everything on my own. And that's awesome. You know, it's totally good that I did that because now I am who I am for you guys, you know, and you guys can go on and be that person too for your teams. Um, so the checklist is um, use the search bar. You guys can click on the magnifying glass. If you're ever looking for anything in Lash Out Loud, click the magnifying glass and type in 90 day run checklist. Okay. It's a lot of work, but if you want green, like Stephanie Dillard over here is saying she wants, you do those things and you do it purposefully. Okay. And you're not just checking off the boxes to get it done for the day. You've got to do it with purpose. Don't just post things to post it. You have to think about what you're doing before you do it. Okay. What can I accomplish with this post? Am I sounding genuine in this message? Am I confident in my parties? Um, yeah, you know, you're going to get messages from girls all the time. I get messages all day long from people that are not on my team that need help because they don't get help from their upline. So many people, like, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to sound, you know, I don't want to sound like cocky or anything like that, you guys, but 
so many people come to me every single day and they've rejoined my team when they've already been on someone's team and they literally let themselves go inactive because they were on another team and they want this so bad that they didn't know what to do because they didn't have any help from anyone. You know, so I want you guys to know, like, we have a lot going for us here on this team. There's a lot of information that I give you and, it, and it's really in depth and detailed and it's just, it's so, it's just black and white. It's do this, get this result, take this action, get this result, you know, and it's literally that simple. Don't overcomplicate it. Just do the things and have fun and smile while you do it, you know? Um, so, um, do things with purpose. Okay. You guys. And oh my God, like you will have life changing success, like life changing success. Okay. Um, everything that you do, do it with love, hustle with heart. Okay. Put love in everything that you do. If you sponsor someone, don't make a group page just because you sponsored three people. You know what I mean? Use lash out loud until you hit green status consistently. Okay. Sonia messaged me the other day and she was like, I mean, I'm about to be black status. Like, but I don't want my team to not be in your team page. I was like, girlfriend, like there's no rules on that. Like if you love my team page, you, girl, you stay in there. Like you, she is, we're on the same team, you know, like she is a part of my team and my team page is her team page, you know, and we run it together, you know? And, and that's, what's so awesome about this is that you literally, all you have to focus on is growing yourself, growing your team and leading your team. And you give them the training that I've provided for you. Okay. Don't go crazy with it and, 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 you know, create a team page and give yourself more work to do. You don't need to do that. Focus on growing you and growing your team and becoming the best version of you that you possibly can be. And once you're, you know, green status and all that good stuff, you can make your own group page and everything like that. And, you know, start to really go crazy with it. But in the meantime, you guys, you don't have to do that. You know what I mean? You don't, have, don't give yourself more work to do. Okay. And stress yourself out. I made a team page when I was pink status. Worst idea ever. <laughs> so stupid. Um, but like I said, I wasn't getting any help and I wanted to provide something amazing for my team that they weren't getting anywhere else, you know? And so I fell on my face a lot. I was very managerial and bossy, but I learned from it. I learned from it. You learn from your failures, from your failures, come your greatest triumphs. Okay. So, um, we're going to get off of here. Um, yeah, of course you can just don't drive the people crazy. If you're going to keep posting, um, Everyone communicates, few people connect. Um, let me just go through this really quick and then I'm gonna end it, you guys, because it's been an hour now and I have to get to my stuff here. Can we talk um, once you get back about coaching teams? Um, coaching teams, listen, you can't, it's easier to create new life than it is to revive the dead. Once somebody's dead, you can't wake them back up, okay? Um, if somebody on your team doesn't want it, you can't force them to want it, okay? Um, but yes, I will definitely do a training on like what I do. I always, I, I posted something about Eric from Eric Worry in Lash Out Loud. Um, and it's just a few posts down. So if you want to go to it, um, you can actually, um, it, it says what to do when somebody first joins your team. You let them know what to expect. You let them know, you know, how it's going to be. You let them know it's not going to be easy. You know, you let them know if you want this, this is what you need to do. Go over the team training, you know, the new mobile training step-by-step -step, complete it as you go. And please come to me if you need help you know? And sometimes you have to reiterate that to people like a hundred times before they're like, Oh yeah, you're right. Like I have a girl who really wants it, but she's like, Oh, I'm going to go live for the first time this weekend. I'm like, girl, this weekend's like freaking eight days away or something like that. You know, like you need to go live today. <laughs> you have a fire when you first join that you cannot recreate. You can't recreate that fire. You're excited. You're scared. You're nervous. You're all these things and you've got to recreate. You can't recreate that. You've got to go for it now. Um, so I think that we're good. What is the group called? MM post ideas. Um, now for party videos, I've redone mine because they needed too badly. I don't know if my son is in the background talking. Yeah, of course. This is your business, Jacqueline. This is all you girl. This is your business. You run it however you want. You're a mom and that's relatable. My kid, you know, she's in here going crazy. Yeah, she's been really quiet. I'm a little nervous right now. <laughs> okay. There we go. You guys, I hope that this helped you. Um, I hope that, you know, I hope that you guys got a lot out of this. I hope that it helps you to understand sponsoring a little bit more. If you ever have somebody that needs help with sponsoring, you can suggest this video or the other hundred videos that I've ever done about sponsoring. There's great stuff in the file section, tons of awesome stuff, you guys. Okay. Um, so I'm glad that you guys showed up today. I hope that a lot of people get on the replay. Feel free. Once I upload this replay into Lash Out Loud, feel free to tag your teams in it for those people who couldn't get on it um, during the live part of it and I want to see every single one of you guys in Cancun next year 
Like you guys can all earn it. I had blue status presenters and pink status presenters that are going to be in Cancun and Punta Cana with me. Um, everybody can earn it. You just got to start working hard right now. You got to start growing your team and use the stuff that I taught you right now. Okay. Um, and, and read up on, on selling and everything like that and just get great at everything because the more that you read and learn, the better you're going to be. Okay. That's all there is to it. Read, learn, apply what you learn, take action, have confidence and have a great mindset and you can do anything, anything. Okay. You guys, I love you so much and I will talk to you guys soon. Okay. Thanks for being here. You guys, I love you. Mwah.